AI is really interesting because um, the industry is changing. Uh, AI leads are like Spotify, Amazon, Netflix, just to name a few. So it's like exciting to see like those things being real. This event made it really helpful to understand that it's not as hidden and like obscure as I thought. If you're in San Francisco for longer than a week, you've seen the self-driving cars and Tesla and things like that. And so it really is the future and it's the cutting edge. And, and so being here with a lot of peers and colleagues where you can figure out all the different perspectives, right, that make machine learning valuable. I think this whole space is very, very exciting. I, I think in the next five to 10 years, our world is going to be transformed. Everything in our world, in our future world, will speak to us. Our refrigerator will talk to us. Our car will park itself and, you know, talk to us. And, and I think a lot of our problems that we have, our day-to-day -day problems, are going to be fixed before we know their problems. Deep learning community as such is like, you know, it's very open, right? Um, so there are a lot of wonderful libraries and contributors and researchers, right? Like, you know, who contribute so much to, to open source. And open source is pretty much driving uh, deep learning. Everybody is contributing to this little ecosystem, right? Like, you know, which is driving things really forward. So there was recently a nature paper from a group outside of St or in the, from Stanford um, that was looking at melanoma and pictures of melanoma, feeding it through an algorithm, and they're able to detect what's cancerous and what's not just based on the picture as effectively as a doctor. Um, so I am just really here to get a working understanding of, of Python, which I know sounds crazy, right? Because everyone here knows Python, but it's new to me. Uh, TensorFlow, Spark, those are those are new things that I'm working with. And so working in this area, you, you have to understand all of that. Uh, it's vital to my job, so I thought this would be a great introduction. I think it's really important for those who are just entering the field to have a perspective of not just the capabilities of what machine learning systems can do, but also a sense of the limitations of where uh, machine learning systems run into problems and when humans that train machine learning systems provide prejudice or bias that gets baked into the system. And that brings a lot of responsibility, I think, because we set the stage for future applications. Um, I actually learned about this event when it, I think Laura posted it on um, Lesbian Suicide South Bay, and I really just want to see different career paths and, of course, network with other folks in this industry. Um, I'm really new to it, uh, and I think it's really great to see um, examples of how data science is used with, like, in the nonprofit and healthcare sphere. For machine learning and artificial intelligence, and for somebody who, you know, may not have gotten, you know, a PhD in it, it's hard to determine how to start. And so I feel like I really got a good breadth of, um, of, of information in order to really get started and, and, and have those frameworks and have those tools at hand in order to, you know, go on and and do more work on my own in order to really use it and really apply these technologies and these these um, these learnings to what I want to do. I'm so inspired by all the speakers and whenever they're talking, it's just, it's great. Like, it's hope for the future. <laughs>